Ngema joins Amazulu on a pre-contract. Amazulu have signed Silempilo Ngema on a pre-contract, according to the latest reports. Ngema, who's currently in the last six months of his contract with Maruma Gallants, has opted to join Osutu. Amazulu have beaten Kaiser Chiefs to Ngema's signature, as the Soweto Giants were interested in signing him when his contract expired. Ngema will be reunited with his former teammate in Junior Dion and former coach Rowan Falls. Supersport United United signed Kuti. Supersport United have made a major signing ahead of the second half of the season, bringing in midfielder Zekele Kuti on a free transfer. The 27-year-old joins the club on a six-month deal until the end of the season, becoming the first acquisition for Supersport in the transfer window. The midfielder joins the Swanky Boys from Maritzburg United. Kuti was reportedly targeted by head coach Kevin Hunt as he looks to strengthen his squad and turn around the team's fortunes. Our next story will take us to Orlando as Arrows re-sign Makubela. Lamontville Golden Arrows have confirmed the signing of Fonteco Makubela Bella on loan from Orlando Pirates for the rest of the 2022-2023 season. The loan aims to provide the talented box-to-box -box midfielder with more playing time as he's not featured in a single competitive match for the Buccaneers this season. Reports suggest that Makubela had pushed for the loan move back to Arrows after falling out of favor with head coach Jose Rivero. The loan could lead to a permanent move back to Bafana Bastende for the former Buccaneers Academy product. Our last story will keep us in Soweto as the Soweto Giants set to battle for Moody. The 29-year-old has been linked with a move to Kaiser Chiefs but Orlando Pirates have emerged as the frontrunners to sign him. Modi's contract with Golden Arrows is set to expire at the end of June, making him eligible to sign a pre-contract with any team in the DSTV Premiership. There's been speculation that the recent deal for Nseko Makubela, who returned to Golden Arrows on loan from Pirates, could potentially lead to Modi making the move in the opposite direction. Orlando Pirates are certainly no strangers to doing business with Golden Arrows. Just in the last window alone, the Sea Robbers brought in the former Bafana Bastende captain in Kosinati CBC. It remains to be seen whether Modi will follow in the footsteps of his former teammates to the Soweto Giants. However, it seems that there is interest there and a move could certainly benefit both the player and the club. For Modi, a move to Pirates could provide an opportunity to test himself at a high level and compete for major trophies. The Buccaneers have a strong squad and are always in contention for silverware, so Moody would have a chance to play in some of the biggest matches if he were to make the move. As for Orlando Pirates, Modi would definitely add some pace and creativity to the attack as he's shown his ability to score goals and create chances for his teammates. Overall, it would be a win-win situation for both Orlando Pirates and Pule Moody. The winger would get a chance to play for one of the biggest and most prestigious clubs in South Africa, while the Buccaneers would add a valuable player to their squad. Please let me know in the comments below, do you think Moody should make the move to Kaiser Chiefs or would he be better placed in Orlando Pirates? Please let me know in the comments below. Hey.